she is so alone. Well, at least he's doing a lot better. Uh, I wish they could take some of those machines off of him. Oh, but darling, they're helping him. Kevin's the one who helped. Gave him the strength to keep fighting. I like to think it was Duke, his dad. You know, I've been thinking I gotta fill out the birth certificate soon. I want his last name to be Buchanan. Oh, but darling, I think this is too important a decision for you to make when you're so overwrought. Now, what are you talking about? Why wouldn't Zane be a Buchanan? Dorian, don't you think it's time that you shelved some of this animosity that you feel towards our family? All right, so, we get flowers for your mom and mine? Huh? You know, your, your mom, uh, boutonnieres, or corsages, or whatever they're called. Oh, um, I'm sorry. I was just thinking about Kelly's baby. I'm just I'm glad that it, he's doing much better. Yeah, yeah, me too, honey. We have a lot to celebrate. Hey, thanks. So, uh, you can cross off picking up the tuxes. I made arrangements for them all to be dropped off tomorrow. That's great, man. Thanks. Really. Hey, there's my brother. I can ask him some stuff. Okay. Mind if I sit? No, no, no. Hey, Phil, I'm going to cut the seat with best, okay? So how's the groom? The uh, groom's a little nervous that he forgot something. Don't worry. I got your back. Great. What are you doing? Wait for uh, Evangeline? Yeah, she's still in court. Well, she must be ecstatic that uh, that you got cleared for throwing the fight? Right. Yeah, well, we both wish Vincent had to pay a little more than he did, but mostly we're just glad it's over. Uh, am I making you feel uncomfortable? Um, <clears throat> no. Not at all. Okay. This might be the last chance I get to talk to you before you uh, get married to Antonio. Something I want to say, and it's important. I'm sorry, Mr. Manning is out. All right. You think he's gone for the day? He usually stops back in here on his way home. You mind if we wait? No problem. Have a seat. I have to do some fact checking. <laughs> fact checking? Well, Miss Rag, as if. Well, if Todd isn't here, maybe we should just try to find a lawyer that Spencer hired to get rid of Todd's baby. Trust me on this. Doing that too soon could really screw things up. Saw a new side of you today. Shut up, David. Go away. Kind of lost it, didn't you? Guard! Yeah, putting Vicky in a half Nelson just because you weren't Ace's son, that's not too cool. What is he going to say? Just shut up and go away, huh? You know, if this wasn't the worst day of my life, it might actually be the best. Oh, I don't believe this. Hey, Vangeline. Oh, that's perfect timing. Why, what happened? You just fixed it so Spencer can beat the charges and go free. Listen, I'm marrying the woman I love, right? What? 
You know, Nash is over there talking to Jess. Yeah, I know. So? I just wish you hadn't asked him to be a Kuzma. Well, Christian, I did. You know, he's going to be standing up there watching you marry Jess. What if he loses it? You can tell me anything. You know that. I didn't sleep too much last night. Because all he could think about was Tess. If the lawyer is the one who knows where Todd's baby is, then... Which means he isn't the kind of lawyer with a fancy office and a three-piece suit. I just can't make an appointment with him and expect him to tell me what I want to know. He's a baby broker. I need to talk to Todd and go over his strategy before I meet with this shyster. I guess you're right. Look, if he's gone this far without landing in prison, he is an expert at working the system and covering his tracks. Plus, a kid's at stake. And we're, we're close to finding him. The last thing I want to do is blow this. How could anything in your pathetic, miserable little life possibly eclipse watching mine blow up in my face? Hmm? Spencer, I wanted you to be a Buchanan. Half-brother has sort of a nice ring to it, and then there was all that money. You were never going to see one red cent of that money, David. I already told you I'm leaving my entire stake to my son. Mm, right, Hugh. I had high hopes for Hugh. I was hoping he'd share that money. What do you mean, David? Well, I told him if he gave me some of the money, I'd explain how you got the nickname Poodle. Does everything always have to be a joke with you, David? Everything! Beats going insane, doesn't it, Spencer? Like you did at Ace's house today? I had every right to be angry. My entire life has been based on nothing but a lie, David. Murdering medic menaced many. Really? What is this doing on the Sun's website? I told you it felt forced. I didn't write it. Nobody should have written it. Well, as usual, you are overreacting. Oh, no, I'm not overreacting. Not yet, Blair. What's the big deal? You have been plastering the paper and the website with stuff like this about Spencer ever since he was arrested. Yeah, it feels good. Do you know how many people read The Sun? <laughs> A lot, I, I, I hope. Uh huh. Do you know that we have to impanel an impartial jury? Spencer's lawyer has every reason to go to the judge and say that his client can't get a fair trial in Landview now. Do you know that? Do you know that he could ask that this case be venued out to some place where the prosecution doesn't have the time or the motivation to try Spencer for a 25-year-old crime? That's not gonna happen. After what you've done, I'd say the chances are excellent. No, I don't think the baby should be called Buchanan. But it's not out of animosity. It's really an issue of feminism. Because if Kelly is going to be raising this baby all on her own, well, I think it should have her name. And I think Duke would have been proud of this baby, don't you? I think he would have wanted the whole world to know that Zane was a Buchanan. Absolutely. Having said that, yeah. it's Kelly's decision. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Hi, darling. Uh, by the way, speaking of Buchanan's and sons... What? You got the results back? Uh-huh. Hey, 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 Spencer? A uh, Buchanan? No, thank God. You mean Spencer isn't Ace's son? Dad, are you sure? I'm positive, because the testing was done by two independent labs. Oh, <laughs> wow, that is good. That is really, really good news. So, how's the baby? Oh, he's he's doing much better. We we thought that we lost him, but he's he's improving. That's great. You know, I, I wish I could call John right now and tell him about Spencer. I know. You know, Spencer's case would be very complicated if all the witnesses that were testifying against him happened to be his relatives. I bet Grandpa was relieved, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. He was also furious that anybody would think that he could father a psychopath like Spencer Truman. <laughs> and how did Spencer react? Uh, well, he kind of lost control. Grabbed your mother. What? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Well, thank heavens for that. Well, what were they doing? David calmed him down. Um, and then he was taken back to jail. I hope he spends the rest of his miserable life. Jeez. Not as a member of our family. Two miracles in one day. <laughs> we are truly blessed.
All right, you want to know why I asked Nash to be a part of the wedding man? It's because he's a fact of Bree's life, which means he's going to be a fact of mine. You're never going to make this guy a part of You know, he's not so such a bad guy. Look, I don't care what name he calls her by. This guy right here, Nash, he's going to want to sleep with your wife. Dude, it's a little more complicated than that. You're too easy on him. I wouldn't be able to do that. Yeah, well, a year ago, I wouldn't have been able to either. I don't have to invite him to the bachelor party, do you? No, uh-uh. Good. Because there's going to be one. Excuse me. Look, the important part is I think I understand this DID now, this, the, the integration thing, at least as well as anybody else in this town. Really? Yeah. When I first met Tess, it's like she was experiencing everything for the first time, like she had just been born. It's what I loved about it. She, there wasn't anything jaded or, or cynical. You know? Well, at least not on the surface. But what gets me is all those test feelings now, you've got them. But the test part, it's, it's like she was blocked back there. You know, she never got a chance to grow up. She, she never... She gave birth to a child. Yeah, she gave birth to a child, but she never got to be fiancé, to, to get married, to, 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 to stay up and wondering why her husband is getting home late. She never... Okay, well, you're making it sound like Tess is dead and not a part of me. You still having any of those test flashbacks at all? Any? No. No, I, I think those are over. All right. You know, as sorry as I am for the test for myself, uh, I hope you have the wedding of your dreams. Thank you. Be happy. That's uh, what I'd want. That's what Tess would want. Oh, Phil, let me get a refill. Don't you? Come on. It's the night before you get married. You go out with friends and you get stupid. Christian, I am not going to be hung over the morning of my wedding. Okay? I got a lot to do. Like what? Stay up all night, put on your tux? Thank you. But no thank you. Hey, what's up? None of your business. You're still ticked me for taking that swing at you the other night. It was a bad swing. Weak punch, too. Well, I'm a grape grower, not a fighter. So, no kidding. Speaking of fighting, you know, I, I heard your manager copped up to setting you up. I'm glad you're off the hook. Thanks. He, uh, he wants to throw me a uh, bachelor party. You said no? Yeah, man, look, I really, I have no desire of getting sauced in my, you know, before my wedding. And besides, I don't think. Where'd she go? Oh, she, uh, she, she said she was going to go to the hospital to see the baby. She didn't say goodbye? Yeah, she figures she's got the rest of her life to spend with you. So what, no party? No party. I'll see you at the chapel. All right, good night. Do you want me to do my first set now or wait till the crowd builds up a little? Oh, uh, you, uh, you could wait a little bit. I saw Nash leave. Right. He has been working day and night on that vineyard now that he has the money to finish it. Yeah, who gave it to him, yeah? No. Yeah, are you kidding? No, he would not take money from me. Uh, actually, your former manager gave him a big loan. Oh, get out of here. You went through with that? Mm -hmm. Does he know what Vincent does to people that don't pay him back? Maybe someone should tell him. Maybe then he'd think about doing business with me. Well, at least I wouldn't break his legs if he missed a payment. Maybe she wouldn't break his legs, but I'm betting you she'll find other ways to make him pay. Yeah, well, Nash doesn't want any part of her. Well, he shouldn't want any part of Vincent either. Being in that to him is not a good idea. I'm getting tired of sitting around here. I've got more checking to do on this lawyer friend of ours. Oh, well, we could come back later. No, I'm going to do it right here. What? Rex, what are you doing? Secretary could come back any second, you know. I could get used to this. Take a letter. Uh, take a hike. Look, she said Todd comes back here every night. Todd hired me. I am doing what he pays me for. Oh, man. What? Todd's wallpaper is blared naked on a bearskin rug. Oh, really? <laughs> You bought it, didn't you? 
Shut up and go online. At least if Todd finds you here, you can tell him you know something about the guy who sold his baby. All right, first of all, Spencer Truman's going to be found guilty no matter where this trial takes place. Second of all, if that judge does grant a change of venue, I'm going to fry his ass. No, in you speech. will not, oh. Todd. Will you stop it? Stop being so cocky. Spencer's lawyer is a shark. All the forensic evidence is 25 years old. The only witness is David Vickers, who is not exactly what I would call a model citizen. And five minutes ago, he was admitting to doing the job What about himself. John and Bo nabbing Spencer as he's throwing away the gun? Yeah, that gun? They can't prove it was in his hands on the night of the murder. Okay? So, what are you going to do? John and Bo, they did a really great job, but the case is cold. Okay, what about Spencer ripping out Thomas McBain's sutures the night of the surgery? That's what ultimately killed the man. That testimony will come from a gentleman who lost his medical license and is currently doing time for trafficking in child pornography. Oh, yes, another reputable, unimpeachable witness. You know, she's so negative. Yeah, I noticed Stop that. Stop it. Stop this crusade against Spencer in the paper. I guarantee you don't want to see this get venued out. And Spencer's lawyer is already looking for some technicality to get Spencer off. This is a capital case. Everybody's going to be looking out for Spencer's rights. He's guilty of anything. No. He's innocent until proven guilty. Yes. And you can prove him guilty. You are the one who can do that. Nobody's smarter or more capable than you are. If that lawyer says, I want to change a venue, you just, uh, you just bat those beautiful brown eyes at the judge and he'll do whatever you wish. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. I would. Will you please be serious for I'm second? being serious. I'm being very serious. You do what you have to do. You keep this trial right here, and I'm going to do what I have to do. Make sure those jurors do the right thing. Let's go. I'm going to have a little word with Evangeline. Ah! Blair, you have to make him stop. Evangeline, I can't make Todd do anything. If I could, I'd make him stop coming on to you in front of me. He only does that because he knows it gets to you. No, I disagree. He only does that because he knows it gets to you. Your problem is you always go the indirect route. Oh, the problem is that all the guards around here seem to have up and died and I can't get you out of here! Ah! I guess I used to work for you in the past, convincing me and Paige that we were both killers, but Spencer, Asa Buchanan, he doesn't like that. No kidding. You're a good con man, Spencer. If you'd gone to Asa and told him the deathbed confession of our mother, you could have sold that. If you'd done that, instead of going after every single member of his family, that old man probably would have welcomed you with an open checkbook. It wasn't about the money, David. I wanted Asa to suffer. What I don't understand is why would Mom lie to you on her deathbed? I'm sure she had a good reason. I told you the story. She told me how... Um, Asa destroyed her. She asked me to destroy Asa. I said, why? You know, what, what, what do you mean? And she said, because he... He what? Broke her heart, David. He destroyed her, man. Got her pregnant. Dumped her. She couldn't tell Dad. The child wasn't his. So she begged me to destroy Asa for turning his back on his own son. So what was it like when Spencer got the news? Well, Spencer was shocked. And I've never seen him like that. He truly believed that he was Asa's son. Well, his mother told him that on her deathbed. You know, only a mother of Spencer Truman could do something like that to her own son. Honey, she must have been very, very angry with Asa to have done that. Obviously did not know how to forgive, forget, and move on. Hi, everyone. Hey. I guess this wasn't an original idea. Oh, how's the baby? Well, his heart rate is stabilized. His lungs are okay so far. We are cautiously optimistic. Yeah, but he's got a long ways to go, obviously. Oh, he's going to make it strong. He's beginning. Oh, and guess what? Spencer Truman isn't 
Yeah. Uh, the DNA test was negative? Yeah. Oh, my God. It's a load off. You didn't need an evil uncle running around at your wedding, did oh, you? I'm so happy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Stop, will you? Now. Tomorrow's going to be the happiest day of your life. And we all want that for you. That's right. This family could use a full day of happiness, trust me. Oh, but I guess you're not going to be there, right? Well, that depends if Kelly and the baby oh. are doing okay, you know? But of course I want to come. I want to be a bride's fate so bad. I'm so <laughs> bummed I'm not going to be able to be there. But I just, I wish you so much happiness with your new family. You know what? I wish you the same thing. Phil, can I get another beer and a dirty martini for the lady? Thanks. So, does your mood have anything to do with me telling you to let Vincent off the hook with just community service? Only if you regret it. Well, the guy did dump on me, but it's over. At least the community center is a whole lot richer today now that he donated all his winnings from the fight. You are such a good man. My brother's getting married tomorrow. I don't want to think about Vincent. And I don't want Layla ever thinking about Vincent. I mean, forgiving him is one thing. I just don't want her to ever look back. You worried? Well, maybe this experience will change him. I mean, stranger things have happened in Landview. So why the martini? Todd. Oh, my buddy. Yeah. Yeah, he has some crusade going against Spencer in the paper, you know, and it really could screw up my case. Just tell him to back off. All right, like Todd ever does anything other than what Todd wants. I know. Where's that drink? Oh, thank you. Bless you. Okay. Here is to forgetting about people like Vincent and Todd and to remembering all the good things we have going for us. Like us. That's right. <laughs> and Antonio and Jessica. To working it out and staying together. Hi. Welcome to Capricorn. I forgot you were still working here. Oh, yeah. I'm a regular fixture. I'm going to be singing later. Got any requests? Gee. Nope. Uh, listen, I'm, I'm really sorry about what happened to John. He was a great guy, even if we didn't always see eye to eye. Can we just find a table? Yeah, of course we can. Thank you. We just came here to find Antonio. Is he still here? No. He went out. Uh, didn't say a word about where he went. You always work this link? Uh, well, a lot to do. Winter's coming. Well, you mind if I give you a hand? Yeah, sure. Look this. I understand you took out a major loan with Vincent Jones. Yeah, well, the banks weren't exactly interested in giving me the money. Yeah, but Jones? Like I said, I didn't have a choice. Yeah, well, maybe you do now. Damn, I don't believe it. What? How are you guys doing? We were, um, you were what? Well, it's okay that he's there. But, uh, why are you there? Did you find my kid? No. And the odds just got a lot higher that I'm never going to. I got a list of people with the same make and model of car my source saw Spencer Truman getting into with your baby. All right. And one of them is a lawyer with offices right here in good old Landview. Well, it's got to be him. He placed the baby for Spencer. That's what I came here to tell you about. I wanted to work out a plan before I confronted the guy. So what's the bad news? While I was sitting here, I decided to look him up online. And guess what? I don't know. Uh, he's out of town? Worse, he's dead. Well, I guess getting even with Asa was more important to Mom than you were. That's not how it was, David. You weren't there. I always thought Dad was the con artist in the family. Maybe I was wrong. I mean, can you imagine 
knowing that you're going to die and thinking to yourself, how do I turn this to my advantage? People wonder where we get it from. How dare you talk about our mother that way? You're as bad as Asa. Saying that she was a hooker? I'll bet she brought in three figures. It's a filthy lie, David. It's a filthy lie! I don't ever repeat it! Hey, I don't share the loyalty you have for the old lady, okay? I wasn't her favorite. She always turned to you. No, she always took care of you, didn't she? Yeah, she thought I needed it. The way that you and Dad treated me. You know, it didn't bother her very much when I first started working for Dad. But you! She always felt you were above it all. As a matter of fact, now that I think about it, she thought you were above me. Well... Maybe Mom was a bright and perceptive woman. So she had a penchant for exacting revenge from the grave. She got what she wanted in the end. Well, actually, she didn't. Not at all, did she? She was just trying to do what she thought was right, David. She was using you, Spencer, and you were stupid enough to let her. Just look at that little fellow. Whether he's called Kramer or Buchanan, he's a fighter. Did you just see? He's fighting to survive. You know, somebody up there knows that we need that baby. And he needs us. I couldn't have said it any better. All right, Kevin Kelly, if it's all right with you, we're going to take off because Vicky and I have something special planned tonight for Jessica and Antonio. Oh, yeah, of course. I just wish I could be there. Oh. Hey, you take care, all right? Okay. If you need anything at all, you call my cell, okay? All anything. Right. Thanks, Mom. Well, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to be here. And if there's something that Vicky was going to do for you, but she's now too busy because of the wedding, you just let me know because I've canceled everything and anything. <laughs> Thank you, Doria. Oh, um, I would like very much to give Jessica and Antonio a gift. Could that be all right? Dorian, I think that would be lovely. They would appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, you kids take care, all okay. right? Oh, one other thing. Clint, I am so happy that it turned out that Spencer is not Ace's son. And Vicky, I'm, I'm very happy that he didn't hurt you today. Well, thank you, Dorian. Thank you. Okay. You need some rest, so let me take you to your No, room. I'm not leaving my son. Uh, I mean, you know, you really could do some rest, so I'll take the night shift. The right? only thing that will happen if I go back to my room is I'll lay in my bed and think about what's happening with my son and if he's okay. No. He's going to be okay. And then once you take him home, you're really not going to get any sleep. I'm not leaving. All righty. When you make up your mind, there's no changing it. So if you're determined to stay here, you just let me know what you want me to do. Actually, you know, I, I mean this in the nicest possible way, do I? The best thing you can do to help us is just go home. <laughs> you're coming to the wedding, right? Of course, absolutely, most definitely. Well, now I know you're going to be there, but, uh... Where's your head going to be? Well, if you suspect when I'm at the wedding that I am mentally preparing my opening arguments, all you have to do is look at me and everything else will melt away. Are you sure about that? I'm sure. Chris, these big cases, they're like running a marathon, you know? Every once in a while you have to stop, get a little sip of water, so that you can go the distance. Mm. Okay then. In this case, I'll be your personal trainer. How's that? I like the sound of that. All right, here to go. You sure? Yeah. All right. All right. This calls for beer, but uh, <laughs> afraid all I got is water. I'm uh, taking it easy since a little incident with your brother. Oh well, water's good too. You gonna say something about what I said? What did you say? I want to buy Vincent Jones's loan out. I'll give you cash. You can pay him back and then owe me. You do that? Tell me the amount. I'll write you a check tonight. Why? Because I don't want Bree's father doing business with a low-life criminal. 
All right. Good idea. Thanks. You're welcome. You might change your mind when you find out how much it is. Yeah, I doubt it. I'm feeling pretty lucky. Marrying the woman of my dreams tomorrow. Yeah, she was the woman of my dreams too. So you're going to allow Kevin to kick me out of here just when you need me? Dorian, I appreciate everything you're doing. I really do, but you have to stop making these snide remarks and, and little cracks about the Buchanans. My son is a Buchanan, and he's in there fighting for his life, and Kevin helps him. So the hell that Kevin put you through is all in the past. You really don't understand what we are going through at that Kelly, time. she's right about what happened no, back then. No, Kevin, no. When you held Zane in your hands and his heart started beating faster, I I knew then that it was it was like a sign. It was like it was like someone was saying, All is forgiven, all is forgotten. Duke was there. He was there through you. And you know what I've been through and how much I've wanted a child. So please understand why I just want to spend some time with my son and with Kevin. Okay, sweetheart. I'll go. But if you need anything, anything at all, let me know. I love you okay. so much. I love you too. believe it. Dorian asked me if I would allow her to give Jessica a wedding present. Well, she's pretty much on the outs with the people she cares about. Maybe she was just trying to make amends. Oh, God. You know, for a really intelligent man, you are absurdly naive. Everything Dorian says when she's around you is for your benefit. She's sucking up to you. Okay, the girls are here, so could we end this argument now? Oh, well. Hello! Hello! Hey. Hello! Hey, thought Amen. we'd keep you company on your very last night as a single woman. <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't think that's a good idea. I'm so glad that you and Bree are going to spend tonight with us. We'll have a little peace and quiet before tomorrow, which will be chaos. Uh -huh. It will work out. It always does. Hi, guys. Oh, hi. Where's Shanae? Yeah. I didn't see you when I came in. Yeah, sorry. I, I don't mean to intrude, but Mr. Mechanic, can I talk to you for a minute? Oh, well, yes, of course. Excuse me. Sure. I don't know. <laughs> so, how about if I buy you girls a bottle of champagne? Huh? Uh, no, thanks, Mom. It's nice of you, but I want to wake up tomorrow with a clear head. I'm going to wait for Antonio to get back, go back to Lampair, check on the baby, and then fall in bed. Oh, Jesse. I can't let you do that. I have to go. Spencer's lawyer just dropped a whole bunch of motions on me, and I have to be ready to respond in the morning. Okay. I'll see you later. Okay. Hey, where you going? You leaving? Yeah, I gotta get out of here. But your brother is looking for you, and he's right over there. Right. I'll see you later. Hey. Oh, hi. Hey. Uh -huh. You're here. Yeah. What's up? Well, we just talked to Nash, and he sounded, I don't know, a little strange. I uh, I just saw him. He seemed all right to me. That's where you were, Nash's place? Yeah. I had a pro business proposition for him, but uh, he seemed fine. Well, I don't think he's fine now, so I was thinking maybe we should all drive over there. Well, I'll call him. Okay. See what's up. You know what? Who cares that this son of a bitch is dead? I'll get a lawyer, have him subpoena this guy's records. It gets worse. How? The guy died in the tornado. It leveled the building his office was in. His records are history. That's great! 
There might still be a way to track down your kids. Yeah, I don't care. Can we talk about it in the morning? Sure. Sorry, Todd. All right, just keep digging. I will. Well, does it make you feel better? No. I'm sorry. My kid's up there somewhere, Blair, and he's alone, and I don't know where he is. You understand? Every time I, I get some lead about where he might be, a dead end. I tell you, that son of a bitch Spencer's gonna pay. Why do you continue to criticize our mother when you know damn well she was Asa Buchanan's victim? Asa didn't lock her in the bedroom. She walked into that affair with her eyes wide open and it ended. She should have gotten over it and so should you. <sighs> Never, David. Never. I'm going to get Asa Buchanan. I don't care if I'm his son or not. He destroyed her, broke her heart in so many pieces. She didn't even care if she lived or died. Spencer, look where you are currently living. The only way you're getting out of here is if they execute you. Really, David? Do you really believe that? Because if you do, you don't know me very well at all. On the next One Life to Live. There might still be a way to locate your kid through that lawyer. Keep talking. I'm not you. What exactly are you worried about? He said he was laying off the boots. Maybe he changed his mind. Guess I better do what I gotta do.